Oh, that is really funny. I'm still racking my brain. Why the other door is the same swing? Why I put the two prong knuckles on the on the uh, the door frame rather than the threes? I think it's, it's just the way it came out of the package. I, I'm not quite sure how that happened, but they, it works. You know, these are light enough that you can just oh, carry them pretty much like that. Man. Okay. Swivel it around into position, and I've got my hinge pin already. I'm just concentrating on the top one. I got my hand wrapped around the door, lifting it by the handle area, and I just want the top one. I don't care about the other ones. I have no care in the world what happens with those, and I'm just getting it in the top two. That's it. Now I can reposition this and figure out about where it goes. This one's not going because it's, because it's hitting at the bottom. And before you start banging on the bottom one, you gotta find out which, which way that knuckle, which way those knuckles need to go. Does the one on the door need to go slightly up or does the one on the door frame need to come slightly down? So I'm gonna look at that and make the determination. Sometimes it's kind of difficult to see. And it looks like I just have to slightly tap it. Down, I think. Yeah, see, just that much. Now, now it'll, it'll slide in. It'll slide in to position. And, and I, I, wanna, I wanna make sure I do the middle one first. And I've just got the top knuckles. Okay, I don't want to bang it down yet. Now I can do that. That one went right down in there. And now I know it's all lined up. And now I can, I can just slightly tap on it. Okay, I'm just hitting the, the outside, the outside edge. And I'm not going to tap it all the way in just yet. Okay. Before I, before I installed, or before I took these doors off to paint them, I wanted to make sure that they were lined up, that the doors, any sagging doors were, were adjusted first and stuff. And if the gap was too big, I thought, okay, as long as the gap's too big, I, can, I, I might have to readjust certain doors after I put them back up. And I can do that after, after the doors have been painted, okay? I'm, lo I'm looking at that and that and that looks that actually looks pretty good and, I, and I'll do a once over on it if anything I, I've got a slightly bigger gap up at the top than I do anywhere else and if I wanted to I could take that top hinge I could take the top hinge uh, I could unscrew this and then I can pre-drill a hole right there in the wood behind this take unscrew this flop it over pre-drill a little hole there pre-drill a hole right in about there you know put two screws in my sheetrock uh inch and a quarter screws and screw those in let the head stick out just barely from the wood and then i put that back in can you see that acts as a shim and that would take this from nothing and then would let this side stick out ever so little okay and then i would uh screw this hinge back in and there's my shims those screws and then as i close the door see that would cock this out at a slight angle which then would mean this door would be pushed over at the top and it would make this gap just a hair smaller you know if i wanted to do that and and i think i i think i might i think i might see See how the see how the gap is there? It's a that's a pretty good gap. And you know, the door would still close at this point and it would still latch and it would be fine. I I take a look at this. See 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 my gap here? Um see that gap's about the same. So if I if I put those those screws in there, that's actually gonna be slightly bigger. And then when I look up at the top, 
and when this move, if this moves over, it's going to lower this down, this edge down, this edge over. Do you see? And it could, it could, and and that would be fine. So if that's something you want to do, see, I can I can do that adjustment now, after the painting has been done. Do you see what I'm saying? And uh, I could do that, or I could leave it. You choose. Okay. Well, there you go. Another door hung, ready for the doorknobs and ready for a slight adjustment if you choose. You know what, for the sake of argument, I am going to um, undo that top hinge and put some screws and I'll show you how that's done next. Okay, I got my, my drill here and I got just quarter inch, inch and quarter Inch and quarter drywall screws. These are coarse threads, see? Coarse threads for wood. And I'm going to use two of those. And I've got another drill here, which is a little tiny drill bit, smaller than the diameter of that. Okay, so just bear with me here. I'm going to set you up. Uh, let's see. I'll get you, get you turned over. Get you turned over this way. I'm trying to get you in this little small hallway. Oops. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to adjust the uh, tripod neck. Okay. Okay. I think you can, you can see that now. If I can just shimmy around the uh, tripod. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to do this. And see, I, I still have the two other hinges on. This has already slid just a little bit. But there's not much weight on there. If this was a solid core door, it might slide more. And then I would put a shim underneath the door on, uh, on the open side so this wasn't, wouldn't sag too far. Because with this, I can just push this a little bit with my hand, get that lined up because it's a, a hollow core door. Okay, so just gonna do that and remember why we're doing this to get that gap a little bit smaller this door is not sagging it's just got a big bigger gap so now I'm gonna take this and about there's just so that the head of my screw doesn't get in the way and I'm, I'm keeping it towards the outside as best I can I don't want to get it too too close but you know, in there. Now that's not going into wood behind there. That's going into sheetrock. See my drill bit. There's actual sheetrock dust because I'm not going into wood. I, I the backing. I don't care about that. I'm just putting the screw in. I'm putting these screws in, and I'm pre-drilling it because I don't want to crack the door, the edge. Of the door jam, I've seen it happen before. Okay, so now I'm just going to screw that in, and I'm going to adjust it with my regular hand screwdriver. Okay, that's going to be my shims. Believe it or not, I thought of that a couple of years ago. Before that, I used to cut metal shims and and try to loosen this up and wedge the hinge out from the other side and kind of poke them in there and, and then oh no that the, I, I flopped over too many layers of, of sheet metal or it's got to be just a little less or a little more or whatever okay, now I'm just going to tighten those up just so the head it's just I can just barely fill the head okay that's pretty good. This one's sticking out too far. It doesn't take much. It doesn't take much, okay? Ah, that, that feels pretty good. And you may have to go through this process a couple times to get it exactly where you want it, right? Okay, so now let's see. I'm just going to start that screw in there. I'm not going to tight I'm not going to tighten it just yet. Okay. 
Now I can reach up here and push on the door. Take up that, take up that gap right there and tighten that up. That's why these top screws need to be, need to be tight. If I had any of these screws that were spinning, I'd have to pre-drill. I'd have to take this door down first off, and then I would have to pre-drill through here into the wood, use a longer screw, make sure all of these screws are nice, will nicely tighten up, right? Because I need them to hold, okay? And it doesn't look like it did very much, does it? But I can feel there's a definite little ridge right there. And I'm, if I didn't do enough, I'll have to take this out and just undo that screw, those two black screws, just barely. Okay, I just want that snug, okay? Now, I'm gonna keep the camera rolling. And we're gonna see, we're gonna see how well we just did, okay? You see this is all nicely tight now. See how the hinge is sticking away from the wood just ever so slightly. Now let's look at our gap. Look at that. See how much closer that is? Look. In fact, it almost, almost, I say, almost looks like I didn't do enough or I did too much. Because if this store ever sagged, uh, it's going to get even closer. I want this door that if it ever does sag, it doesn't sag any more than that over the next five years. So, and, and see how big the gap is here? See? So I know I went just a hair uh, too far out. Okay? And so, yes, I'm going to do this again. And I didn't have that screw head out very far, mind you. Uh, not at all. Okay, uh, I can just do this by hand. I don't need my drill. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that in because the last thing I want is for this to sag. And and these, these door frames will sag. This is 15 years old condo, but. If the wood ever shifts, if uh, the ground ever shifts underneath, if the, some wood settles, or uh, over time with this door opening, closing, opening, closing, opening, closing, you know, thousands of times, eventually your hinge pin wears a little bit and then you get a little bit of sloppiness. And then on the inside of the hinges, maybe that wears just, just enough to cause the door to slightly want to sag because it's going to sag from the top over and that's usually why your, your doors are sagging or rubbing or hitting your, your edge of your door frame and uh, you need to repaint it or something. Okay, I just twisted that in just a, just a tad. That's it. I don't think I'm going to go any further. Okay, I think I'm good right there. I didn't do much, did I? But I think I did enough. I didn't really need very much to begin with. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to push that over. Tighten that up. Okay. Got it snug. That's just in case uh, I need to push it over like that. I could have maybe just tightened that screw and it might have sucked the hinge over. But I, I like to kind of give it a little help in case it's not tight. Okay, now well, we're going to check it again. See, the types of things you might have to do to, to just work on your door. I, you know, when I get done with my doors, I don't like to have marks on the doors, uh, screws. Oh, just put a screw there, just put a screw there, or just bang on this, just put a nail up there, or whatever. And now all of a sudden you, you, you think, oh, I can fix that, I'll just put some caulking over that. And then the caulking doesn't match your paint and the caulking sucks in and the caulking fits over at the top or, or, you know, I like to do things to where when you get all done, you don't even know that I've done anything on this door. Okay. Okay. Now see there, the gap, it's just right, isn't it? Okay. The gap's just a hair bigger there, just ever so slightly. I've got, I've got plenty of room 
if this door ever sagged, um, it's not going to hit. See, the gap is pretty much the same now. Okay? And this is lining up nice across there now, too. A lot nicer. There. That's all I'm doing. Fixed. You did it. Bye, Joe.